Israel conducted air strikes on Gaza's primary northern city overnight despite withdrawing from the area weeks earlier according to residents. In a significant escalation, Iran-backed militants launched a drone attack in northeastern Jordan near the Syrian border, resulting in the deaths of 3 US servicemen and injuries to at least 34 others as reported by the US Central Command. President Joe Biden attributed the attacks to radical Iran-backed militant groups in Syria and Iraq. Despite denials from Iran, these incidents prompted calls from US politicians for a direct response. President Biden has ordered retaliatory attacks on Iranian-backed groups but has refrained from directly targeting Iran, aiming to avoid triggering a broader war amid ongoing violence affecting world trade, particularly through attacks on ships in the Red Sea. Meanwhile, Yemen's Houthi rebels claimed responsibility for firing a rocket at the US warship Louis B. Puller in the Gulf of Aden. Within Gaza, renewed airstrikes across Gaza City caused significant casualties, with reports of fierce gun battles near the main Al Shifa hospital. Despite Israel's earlier claim of completing operations in northern Gaza, the re-entry into Gaza City, marked by ongoing conflicts, suggests challenges in executing the initial war plan. The escalating violence drew attention to the World Court's ruling urging Israel to do more to protect civilians, a call seemingly disregarded by the ongoing conflict. Health officials reported a death toll of 26,422 Palestinians in the conflict, while Israel, attributing civilian casualties to Hamas, ordered new evacuations in Gaza City. However, communications blackouts posed challenges for residents to receive evacuation notices. Amid an aid crisis, residents in northern Gaza resorted to grinding animal feed for flour due to shortages of essential food items. Compounding the crisis, the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestinian Refugees faced a withdrawal of support from several countries including the US, Australia, Canada, Britain, Italy and Finland. Israel's claim that 12 UNRWA staff were involved in Hamas attacks led to the suspension of aid, placing the agency's operations at risk unless funding is restored within a month. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.